So I, I think I will try to share my screen and uh, can, can you see my slide? Yes, we can see. You, you can okay. start. Okay. So thank you very much for the uh, invitation. I will give you an, a presentation of a new uh, a modified aspiration technique that was developed by the company called Rapid Pulse. And uh, so now let's see if it works. I cannot push. Okay, so then I stop screen, stop sharing, and I try to get to the other one because it doesn't work. Gula. Yes. Gula, you, you can stop share the uh, screen. Uh, our I did. technical support already download your presentation. You can uh, see the Zoom and continue. Okay, so they put on my the blue slides, please. You have it done? Yes. yes. Okay, so then, so what I wanted to tell you, just stop and I will turn next, next. Okay, so. Uh, the, uh, the current aspiration systems give us uh, continuous vacuum. And uh, uh, when we apply it on the uh, aspiration catheter, it takes time because the, the uh, clot has to be digested into the aspiration catheter. Usually I wait at least two minutes, but a little bit more, probably up to three minutes. So next, please. So. When we try to withdraw the aspiration catheter, there is systolic flow that works against the clot direction. And also there are side branches where they can dislodge the part of the clot. So it means that we can get some uh, dislocation of parts of the, the clot to the distal vascularization. So next, please. So the rapid pass aspiration system gives us a new um, type of aspiration, changing the vacuum from max to zero eight times a second. This is this is a fantastic, genial uh, invention, and it makes uh, it creates mechanical forces that disrupt the clot structure and degradate it. Next, please. So the clot ingestion usually occurs in a few seconds. So if you please. Go go to the go to the the other presentation because I don't think it works. This is just a single image. But if you go to the other to the white presentation, there are the two videos saved, and please click on the first one because this is just a single image. I, no, no, go to the white. I sent you two presentations. The white one they contain the videos. So if you go on the white presentation and click on the first one, then you will see a video to demonstrate how this rapid pass system works, okay? Can you make it? Ah, yes. Yes. Okay. So now you see to the left the rapid pulse that already disrupted the clot and ingested. It it took just a couple of seconds. And during the next probably two and a half minutes, you will see how the now existing aspiration works. So it takes much, much longer time than the new one. We don't need to wait, but I just want to tell you that in the middle of the night, 2.30, when you start a, a, a mechanical thrombectomy session, you are very, very happy if the clot can be disrupted and uh, ingested in the aspiration catheter within five seconds. And this is my experience that it does. 
So I think we can we can just jump. We don't need to wait until it will do it because it takes three minutes. So yeah, we can just go go back to the to the blue ones again, please, because this is my text slide. And go go to the next to the. Uh, if you can go to the fourth fourth uh, page after this. After this one, go to the next, next. Okay, please go to the next, okay. So, so I had the pleasure to test this system in first in human, and it was uh, almost two years ago, and we had two patients with, 10 patients with large vessel occlusion, and we used this system to try to um, uh, remove the clot. Next, please. In all, all the 10 patients, we achieved TK3 revascularization, and in seven of them in the first pass. This is very, very good result, and it was very easy, and everything is totally unchanged. So we push the uh, micro catheter up, and we do the uh, aspiration catheter. Everything is the same. The only difference is that this small device is between the pump and the aspiration catheter makes the, the difference. So, next slide, please. But I did, I, no, no, just go back, go back. Uh, I used uh, mostly uh, the um, React 71 uh, aspiration catheter, but the system can be tuned to all available um, aspiration catheters and pumps. So this is a versatile system. It works very well with everything. So. I, I would like to show you, uh, um, uh, demonstrate a case, and then you have to go again to the white presentation and click on the second slide, because this contains the video. Okay, so please. I think it will run, yes. Wonderful. So you see a right carotid injection and the clot in the MCA. This was an easy case, but it was early in my experience. So you see the uh, aspiration catheter on place, and there is a time keeping uh, up there. It will show you, I was very, very slow. And I think at that moment, the clot was already ingested in the, in the aspiration catheter, but I was not aware. If you see the smaller image, you see the moving of the aspiration catheter, like uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. this is the rapid pulse system that changes the vacuum eight times, as I told you before. And this gives mechanical forces, so it destroys the clot. And when you switch the aspiration to uh, the the, uh, the system to uh, direct aspiration, it will take out all the clot. And I I did it much slower than I should because it was early in my experience. I didn't trust the information from the company. But you see now, when the blood runs in the aspiration catheter, then the clot is already out. And then you just remove the aspiration catheter. And then we will see the aspiration, the uh, post-aspiration angiogram. There is a small spasm due to the uh, big um, uh, long sheet. And you see the beautiful image of the uh, vessels after the aspiration. So, so go back please again to the blue slides and then I will summarize. Uh, So if you go to the next slide, and again, the next slide, because we just jumped over. So the conclusion, next please. Rapid pulse helps to achieve a wonderful first plus results. Next please. This is a very high frequency aspiration that 
quickly degrades the end of clot and allow for fast revascularization. So next, in my opinion, this system will reduce the need for stent reverse because most of the time we can get out the clot without any stent reverse and hence reduce the costs for uh, uh, EVT of acute large vessel occlusions. This is not a good news for all the companies that produce stent reverse, but uh, this is good news for everyone uh, who don't have enough money to achieve this, and especially on those uh, countries that uh, money is the constraint. So this was my presentation. Thank you very much for listening to me, and I'm happy to, to answer any questions, or if you have, or anyone in the audience, I will try to do my best.